Well, today we're talking about how financial institutions can report suspicious activity to law enforcement. And it's very important because it, frankly, helps keep the global financial system safe from criminals and terrorists. When, when financial institutions report activity that might be related to financial crime that they can't explain, that's very important intelligence information for law enforcement to bring cases and keep us all safe. Some best practices that we've seen in between cooperation between law enforcement and the banking sector is really based upon constant communication. We have seen where banks and, and law enforcement have established periodic meetings where law enforcement can come in and discuss you know, the benefits of SAR filing and what you know, emerging issues may be of suspicious activity, as well as where banks feel comfortable to pick up the phone and call law enforcement and report you know, uh, suspicious activity of immediate concern and or to discuss suspicious activity that is quite significant and they want to supply more detail and more information on it. It's great that Finance Latvia Association brings together bankers, law enforcement representatives, FCMC and also consultants to discuss a topic which is commonly important and interesting to everybody. And even though some may think it's a topic for specialists, for, for people working with IML, for working with suspicious transactions in particular, I'm here also in my CEO capacity because this topic is broadly linked into every bank business strategy which is presently there. The topic of suspicious, suspicious activity reports is uh, basically unseparable topic from AMLTF uh, activities which are presently the priority for the, for, for the banking sector. Top from top to down, starting with CEO level people, ending with a specialist who look from transaction monitorings and actually filing the reports.